He says, sure. I have an issue I need help with. And, and he then includes this. So if you're writing a question, please include this information. I'm running a 2017 iMac 27 inch on Monterey 12.7.1. That's always helpful to have that. That is. Yeah, fair. Uh, I seem to have two photo libraries. I'm not sure why. I did not intentionally create two. I did have an issue several years ago where I accidentally deleted all my pictures. Ooh, sorry to hear that. When I was deleting pictures off my iPad, I did not realize it was taking them off iCloud as well. Fortunately, I have multiple backups, so it was mostly fine. Perhaps that is how it happened. Regardless, I would like just one library. I have looked it up on Google, but seem to find different ways of doing it. I'm not wanting to delete everything again. Good plan. And I would like <laughs> some guidance, please. And thank you, Sean. Um, wow. Yeah. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah. So I, I found an article at Other World Computing about, which has a lot of good options for merging multiple photos libraries. And they, they talk through doing it manually. You can use the import function of photos. You can export in a variety of different ways. So there are options. One of them, which would be my favorite, is Power Photos from Fat Cat Software. It, it is a th piece of third-party software. You will pay for this. And by golly, if you're going to, if, if you care and you clearly do about the integrity of your photos library in the end, please take our advice and go this route. Also make a backup before you head down any path because anything can happen. But I have been it through does. some, <laughs> it, and does correct. Yeah. I have been through a ton of these and, and it will it power photos is helpful. I don't want to use the word magic because it will require you to interact with it at some level, but it really is magic. It's just not set it and, and forget it. Cause you don't want that when you're doing these merges, you want to be able to review things, but it will crunch through both of your photos libraries or all three of your photos libraries at, that you want to merge. And then it will show you the duplicates and it will guide you and say, I think this is the one you should keep. And this is the one you should, you know, let go and all of that stuff. And it will pull it all together and it will maintain your albums and all of those things. It, it is absolutely an essential tool. If you're doing this, uh, I, I highly, I, I, like you can hear it in my voice. Just go get it. That's the way to go. You can read the article at OWC if you want to know sort of the the ways that you're not going to choose and then you're going to just choose this one I, yeah. I, I i don't i don't mandate things often here and this isn't really a mandate but you man, should it's as, go it's get as, <laughs> it's as close as i'm gonna get yeah <laughs> this is one of those tools that i don't think a competitor to it exists which is weird because of how valuable it is like don't let the fact that this is its own thing out there in the market don't let that mislead you into thinking that it's not valuable. It is absolutely valuable. So no, that's high yeah. praise. Uh, how much yeah. is it, Dave? Do you know? Uh, I am looking at the purchase page. It is a new license is thirty dollars. No, so totally worth. The, you know, is thirty bucks worth keeping your photos uh, integrity? And and you're going to just save so much time with this too. It it yeah. like I, it, I I I I saw and heard you sort of acknowledging that that your your love for this too, Adam, is, did I get that right? Yeah, I was going to, I was going to jump in when I had an opportunity. I have recommended this over and over and over and over again throughout the years. It is absolutely the tool to do exactly what this question is asking. Um, with all the caveats that you already mentioned, you know, backup, I'm anybody who's listened to my show for years knows I am like crazy about backup. Um, and so somewhat related to this, another feature of this, that's really great from a backup perspective and just a cleaning up your library perspective is if you're like me, and I think a lot of people out there, right, you have a huge library with all your photos and stuff in it, but maybe a large majority of them aren't like the greatest photos, but they're photos that obviously you want to keep, right? And if you want some a tool to help you clean, and again, you're going to have to do the manual work for this, but clean your library, this tool will let you manage multiple libraries and create multiple libraries. So uh, a great one, a great tip I've given in the past is, you know, why not just create an archive each year of the last year's photos? And you can do it by doing a, you know, a smart album just says, you know, from January 1st to December 31st of this year. 
create that and then put it into a separate library. And then you can archive that, you know, put it in backup, put it online, archive it multiple places. And then, you know, for that year, you could go back and safely remove those less, you know, keep, keep the photos you really want from that year. But, you know, the ones that are kind of iffy or maybe not so great, right? Now you've got it in a separate library and then you can use a tool like this to go back and pull that library back. Or Obviously, you can just open the library and photos by holding, I think it's the option key, right? When you can select different libraries. So yeah. you could keep them around. You could just have them archived. But then that way you're not, you don't have your main library cluttered up with a bunch of junk. Right? So, okay. So I want to, I want to I, I restate what you just said for my own benefit to make sure I understand this. Cause what you said, or at least what I heard, I really like this. Your idea is that you're not when you create this archive and then you save it off somewhere safe. And that is a hundred percent of everything that survived the year. You, you know, right. you might've deleted some things that, you, you know, you took a picture of your pocket or something, but right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah otherwise, Everything goes there. And then at that moment, you don't then delete that entire year from your main library. You just then go through and prune freely knowing yeah. that you have this backup. You have for a backup of that, uh, of, the, of all that other stuff. And if you want to go access that stuff, right, you can just right go there. back and open that library, right? Dude. And this will let you manage it and, you know. It takes some, diligence, right? You, you have to be actively. Really it's not an automated thing, but yeah. Y yeah, go ahead exactly. and say that again. Was, and then you can be more aggressive in getting rid of all, you know, if you have 10 photos, you know, when, you know, you're going to get rid of the ones with the eyes closed, but uh, is the mouth smiling. Is, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. more aggressive going, this is the one I really like. I'm going to get rid of the rest. And you've got that safety net. And you've got that safety yeah, net. Yeah, for, for those of us that- Make sure you're backing up your archives to multiple places. Just going yes. to tell you that. You should have a local <laughs> copy somewhere on a hard drive. You should have something in the cloud somewhere, like- yeah. Don't yeah. Really, no, that's if you fair. don't have three copies of that that archive library, it's not backed up, in my opinion. That that's just I I totally agree. Yes, a hundred percent. Yep. No, this is great because it it relieves the. That I know there's probably a term for this too. You know, like like I said earlier, I'm a pack rat. I save everything, but I don't always need it at my fingertips, right? And so this caters to that, whatever that version of, of, you know, data retention anxiety is that it's like, okay, there it is. You've got it. You know, storage is cheap. Like you said, put it in multiple places to however many you need to appease yourself and, and then carry on freely with a photos library that as you're scrolling through to show somebody something from your vacation four years ago, you're not like, oh, this is, I got to go through this. I got to, you know, that kind of thing. So, yeah. and that week between Christmas and New Year's is a fantastic week to find like a little down moment and prune through your photos. I try to do it once a month. I generally do it once a year and it's during that week. So, yeah. And it's, it's good, especially if you use something like iCloud photo library, because the larger your library gets one, you're having to buy more storage and that's fine if you're you're willing to buy more storage. But the other thing is it just takes longer to sync everything. 